Hello, today I will be doing a much requested video on how to lose weight fast, even with a slow metabolism with little to no exercise, okay? I have just gone through this, um, whereas I broke some ribs recently and I still had not reached my fitness goals. So I had to figure out what can I do? What can I do to maximize my weight loss while I am unable to work out? So I had a few people, subscribers who wanted to get more information on how I did it because they saw pictures on me on my Instagram. And I promised the video to tell what I did to really lose the weight, get the inches off without working out. And I'm 35 and over. So it definitely makes a difference because, you know, after 35, your metabolism slows way down. So stay tuned. Let's get into this video. Now, let's not forget, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like the content. Also hit the like button. And I am in the comments. So if you have any additional questions, anything you want me to clear up, I am happy to do so. I am always willing to help anybody who needs it because I understand the struggle for my oldies. The people who have been here supporting me, thank you for riding with me, y'all. Um, let's get into this journey and let's get this information. So let's go. As some of you may know, I have recently suffered from an accident where I broke some ribs and bruised some ribs. So um, I was unable to work out for, it's been a little over six, seven weeks now. And um, I kept trying to work out, which kept re-injuring my ribs. So I had to finally call it quits and get serious about what could I do to lose weight um, to continue my journey so that I wouldn't gain it back and just keep moving forward. And like I said, my metabolism is very low. So I developed a plan that has worked extremely well. Okay. So here's the first thing that I did. I cut out all sweet drinks. Okay. So that meant no juices, unless it was like orange juice, um, because maybe a sore throat, or I just had to have some vitamin C, um, sodas, carbonated drinks, um, coffees with creamer in it that was a no-no for me those were like the basis of what i cut out. let's really focus in on what i do drink um every morning right now i drink a smoothie um i'm in love with um a brand called teamy um it's a collagen drink they do have like uh, when i feel like i need a detox they have the detox drink right now i'm doing um the collagen in my smoothie I love this. This is a superfood supplement. It makes me feel good. Um, I love it because there's no artificial sugars, okay? There's no, it's non-GMO, no fillers, no additives, nothing. And it has a special blend of antioxidants. I think it has two of them, matter of fact, and it absorbs very quickly into your body. So that is, a, that's amazing, okay? So I teamed up with them so that I could get a code for you all and provide it to you all so it'll appear right here on the screen. Um, I'm also going to show you how I make it. Now, Timmy is a great go-to for me because I can easily just pour some um, a scoop of it in my smoothies. I pour a scoop of it maybe in my teas when I drink it. If I do drink coffee at all, I will pour it in there. It's just all around a feel-good drink. So I definitely have been using it. It has been amazing. You know, I am all about natural hair, skin and nails, about natural body, about feeling good and feeling energized. So anything that makes me feel good, makes me feel confident um, and actually supports my body, like a superfood, I definitely am on board for it. So I definitely wanted to mention Teamy and how I make it. And I'll get more information on that in another video when we actually talk about my diet. A lot of times your body feels as though you're hungry in all actuality, you're really thirsty. So so a water before you eat dinner always works for me. Now talking about water, I do not, honestly, I do not drink a lot of water. I need to drink more water, but I attempt to. A lot of times I end up drinking my smoothie and some hot teas, okay? That's my thing, that's my go-tos. But water, what I've learned is if I have a full cup of water before I eat my meal, a lot of times I'm more full and I eat less. If you eat less, your stomach begins to shrink and hence you use you um, do not intake as many calories, you start to lose weight. 
right? So when we are talking about filling yourself up, a lot of times in dehydration, you feel like that hunger, that rumbling in your stomach. And that rumbling, like I said, sometimes isn't always hunger. We have gotten accustomed to just kind of feeding ourselves when we feel that uncomfortable feeling in our stomach. A lot of times you're just thirsty and um, you need to hydrate. And in that hydration, you'll find that you will be less hunger, you'll be less hungry um, when it's time to eat, okay? Now, since we're talking about food, let's get on that because that's a big subject. I always say that if you cut out fast foods, then that is going to take off pounds. It's going to take off inches. Trust me, it will. So stop fast with the fast foods as much as you possible. And if you do order from a fast food restaurant, because some of us do, then make good choices that, you know, may not be McDonald's or if you have to go to McDonald's, maybe get in their salad. Not saying eat, live on salads because Lord knows no one wants to live on salads, right? But just saying that we have to find better choices of what we can eat at the restaurants we go to. Now, right? when going to grocery stores, I always say, don't go hungry. When I go hungry, I'm getting every snack. I'm getting ice cream, cakes, and cookies. I never go grocery shopping hungry. When I go, I go with a specific list of what I need to make for that week so that I'll have just that and I can cut out all of the extra side stuff that I want to stuff in my cart, right? Not only is that going to save you some money, which we all need to right now, but it's also going to limit what you have available to eat. So it's going to cut out those extra snacks that you have and it's going to put you in a position where you only have what you need. Now, when, what do you need to eat? It's really simple things. You need a protein, you need a veggie, veggie, and you just need a little starch. Don't go overboard with the starch, but have some starch. And don't deprive yourself, right? Because if you deprive yourself, you're more likely to fall back on those snacks, those cookies, and those cakes. So the simple rule of thumb is a protein, a veggie, and some starch. Attempt to get what's on your list, stick to it, and then stick to it when you get home and what you make. I promise you, you can make satisfying meals daily, okay, and not want to indulge in anything else. Another rule of thumb is your portion control. I make portions that are no bigger than my fist, right? And because I do this, um, I'm putting less in my stomach and I'm already drinking the water that's like kind of filling me up and then I eat my food and I promise you I am satisfied I am full and I'm not stretching my stomach. So your goal is to shrink your stomach. And over time with eating a little bit less each time, your stomach will begin to shrink. So let's not look at it as a diet because I don't believe in dieting. I believe in control portions. I believe in lifestyle changes. And I believe in doing what's right for your body, no matter what that is. And being now, as I've said, once you get over 30, over that hump <laughs> into the 40s, um, your metabolism slows down. I am a product of that, right? Because I used to be able to eat anything I want and I never gained weight no matter how many children I had. What I've learned is I can't punish myself into a diet situation. A diet should never feel like a punishment. So it's just been me rethinking how I'm eating and not saying it's a diet. Another thing that I've done, and I've actually made a small video on it um, recently, I incorporated waist training, right? So for me, what waist training has done is it compresses my body and in compressing my body, it actually shrinks my stomach a little bit. And I've learned that I am not as hungry when I have my waist trainer and I have my waist trainer all day. Um, I work out on a waist trainer. I sleep in a waist trainer, different ones. Like I said, there is a video on it, but to keep a long story short, it compresses you so that you are not hungry. Sometimes I don't feel hungry. Now we've actually talked about the portion controls. We've talked about um, what I eat in the morning. We talked about uh, compressing your stomach. We've talked about not shopping for those extras, but let me tell you what I am actually doing. I am doing the intermittent fasting. It has been working for me for years and I have had eight children and I've never gotten my weight out of control until the COVID situation came into play and it was more or less a depression. So please make sure that you are staying healthy mentally, not just physically, but emotionally, because that plays a big part in, you know, staying healthy, staying fit, staying in shape, losing weight. Your mental stability is very, very important. Now, with intermittent fasting, although I start eating 
later in the day, um, um, mid-afternoon, because I don't really eat breakfast. At night, I like to end with apple cider vinegar. So in this apple cider vinegar, I, I take it very easy. I get a bottle of water. I pour off the water to the label. I add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I about a half a tablespoon of lemon juice and then I add in honey as much honey as I would like and that's how I end my fast at the end of the evening when I know I'm not gonna eat anything else look up the benefits of apple cider vinegar it is amazing okay it is amazing so it is definitely something that you can incorporate it is definitely something to help you lose weight and shrink fast okay I am a product of it like my pictures are real pictures. They are actually pictures of me and what I look like then and what I'm looking like today. So it is definitely important to incorporate those things that will definitely help you along your journey. So I can honestly say starting your day off with something like a smoothie, um, eating a great lunch and a great dinner, um, remembering your water, remembering those small details um, about portion controls, ending your day with something as simple as your apple cider vinegar water is going to be huge with boosting your metabolism and helping you shed that weight. Now, if you don't see weight loss in the first couple of days, don't worry about it, don't stress. Start off with a, a, a starting weight, make a goal for yourself, check your weight every week on the same day. I promise you, you will see yourself start to shrink if you just do these basic tips, right? So I'm definitely here to help. Hit me in my inbox, hit me in the comments, follow me on um, Instagram. I am always available, I'm always around to help. So this is my video. So in the meantime, I will see you all in between time.